Hey guys, it's Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and today I'm going to make an acetate card, which I don't do very often. I have all these acetate cards in my stash, and I'm going to start using some of them once in a while. And I'm using the Honey Bee set with the sentiment from an Ellen Hudson set on this one. And I've stamped them onto two pieces of watercolor cardstock. One's going to go in the front, and the other one is going to peek out in the back. And I'm just going to watercolor them. To do some pretty simple watercoloring and and try to do kind of some hard shadow, shadow type areas on them because often we try to get them all super blended but a graphic look on stamps like this with these big fat outlines is really helpful sometimes and so I'm just gonna do a little bit of painting here remember with watercolor you can get different amounts of intensity of color based on how much water you put with them so I used a little bit of paint with a lot of water for the foam on the top of that drink and then I added a little more pigment to make the, the drink itself and then I'm gonna add some some shadow type areas on it later after it dries these stamps by the way if you're a new colorist are gonna be really easy to color with your Copics and if you're really trying hard to manage your bleeding if you work with stamps that have a thicker outline these are honking thick outlines on these cute as anything but it makes it really easy to color so i'm going to add just a little bit of highlight to this one because it's a shiny cup and normally i don't add highlights to things that are not shiny because that makes them look kind of weird so i'm going to add my shadows in a different way on the other cups but just leave the white highlight on the coffee cup however that coffee cup does not have coffee in it I'm just gonna tell you that coffee cup has marshmallows in it they might think that it's sugar cubes in the stamp set but I'm gonna call it marshmallows because I don't drink coffee how weird is that <laughs> I know I live in the Seattle area and I don't drink coffee my, my friends just think that there's something wrong with me but I do go and I have a, a caramel apple cider from time to time and I have me some hot chocolate, so I'm still able to go to Starbucks and enjoy time with my friends, etc. So just because you don't drink coffee doesn't mean you get to miss out on all of that fun and fellowship at the coffee place, whatever your favorite coffee place is. I did add a little bit more color to that mug. The, um, the highlight was bugging me that it was so honking big. So now I'm going to work on the shadow on the cup itself and just put kind of a hard line shadow on it. Well, you can soften out the edge a little bit, but I just want that shadow to be up on the right hand side to give it a little bit of dimension, but leave it pretty graphical and not get too crazy about trying to be super blended. And add you know, a little bit of darker color in there. And when you're doing this kind of a thing, you want a harder edge, wait for the paint to dry underneath of it. Don't put it on wet paint because then it'll just bleed, but just give it some time and that will allow it to to kind of have those nice hard edges. Now here on this one I wanted to add a, the same kind of a hard edge, just the shadow on the right hand side, and then just drag a couple lines down to put some, some interest over on that left hand side of the cup. Throw in a little bit of shadows on my lids, and then finish off now that the paint is dry around that, that little centerpiece, I can add on a little bit of my little bit of red in there. For the inside, I, I stamped the donut and the uh, the top view of the, the little latte there and I put a plate under it by just drawing my own circle because I wanted to have two plates there. I am doing this, you may have noticed, in Christmassy colors because this could be a Christmas thank you card for a Christmas gift or it could just be a thank you card that gets sent during the Christmas season so it has a little reflection of the color of the season but it allows me to kind of give a little more life to a card like this I could have done it in all kinds of other colors but if I end up needing this one for a Christmas thank you it's gonna be perfect for that and these stamps by the way even though I am not a coffee drinker I think I'm gonna be using them fairly regularly because sometimes it's just fun to color something with a really big heavy outline and I have some ideas for some backgrounds to do with these. So if you watch my Instagram, you may see a few more of these honeybee coffee cups and that sort of thing coming up sometime during the winter, because you know that's always the time to think about things like that, especially donuts. 
because you know I love donuts. It had to be a chocolate donut in this particular case because I love chocolate donuts. That's just me. I, you know, what's your favorite donut? How about leave a comment in the doobly doo and tell me what your favorite flavor of donut is. Now I did have a little trouble with some of that bleeding going on. Had to do a little bit of dabbing off and repair work so it made my donut a little bit lighter. And I'll finish off my coffee mug so since it's the top view I'm going to try to make it the same mug as on the outside of the card. Now to add it onto the card I have put some Be Creative tape on the back because Be Creative tape sticks really well to watercolor paper as well as to acetate. So all I have to do is peel off the backing on it but in order to make sure I get it good and centered I have an option for you. I took another piece of watercolor paper that's going to go on the inside eventually, but I can lay it down, I can move it around, nudge it exactly where I want it, make sure I get it fully centered, and then take my finished piece that's going to go on the front, and I know exactly where it's going to go, because this Be Creative tape sticks, and when it sticks, it's going to be hard to peel it off and do something else with it. Having the other panel is also going to help. I'm going to use the same Be Creative tape to stick this on, because I can put it on the back of the acetate and it's going to hide the fact that there was ever anything there. You're not going to see all that glue and stuff and it gives me a place to write a note as well. I can sign my name down beneath the thanks a latte portion, but I can write a note on the left hand side about what I'm thankful for. I did the same thing on the back with another panel. And both of those have a die cut or a die, die cut edge from MFT's new set that has these beautiful stitched edges on it. And I think it came out really fun. It's not a super realistic thing for me. It's a very graphical look, but I love it. It just feels very fresh and it also is gonna work great for a holiday thank you card. So thank you so much for joining me for the video. If you liked it, click the like button, watch some more videos here if you'd like, and I will see you guys next time. Supplies and links and everything are in the doobly-doo as always, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.